Good evening and happy month. I am your hosted. I am month. This month, this in the February of our Lord, has seen a five million percent rise in incidences of hoax hate, which, as we all know, is the systemic institutionalized hatred of hoaxers. Uh, hoaxers are the most marginalized and endangered demographic in the Western world this month, being the latest victims in an underground online alt-right conspiracy hit list. Hoaxers uh, is, of course, a slur, uh, a racist slur. I mean, it sounds like one. A slur that refers to journalists. Journalists and, and other brave citizens who speak out on behalf of the oppressed by any means necessary. An unfortunate meme by the name of Jizzy's mullet, pictured here, next to a giant erect penis for some reason, and it's ejaculating really quite fiercely, and, and one might say abruptly, but such is life. Oh, it's a tree, I see, it's a tree. I, I don't know why anyone would know that. Anyway, this, this, uh, this activist citizen journalist, or hoaxer, as the Nazi troll community would say, has been the victim of, of a of a tactical backlash while, uh, while, while walking on his way home from, from, a, from, from a normal everyday hoax. Mr. Mullet was pounced upon in the alternative media by a couple of neckbearded incels with red fedoras menacingly chanting, this is ethics country. I just want to live my life, cried Mr. Mullet as he threw himself in front of a car. And hoaxing is my life. All you haters need to just deal with it. Mr. Mullet, that car is parked. Stop trying to lodge yourself under its wheels. Never. The neck-bearded assassins who had jumped him in, in, in that dark alleyway of, of proto-cyber violence later that day turned out to be two cats being monitored remotely from a webcam. Even we are beginning to wonder how we're even managing to get our wires this badly crossed. Who cares? Said a spokesperson. Why does it even matter? We're just trying to shine a light on the very real issue of cats being attacked. Cat ni ho hoaxes being attacked. Damn it, there really is a thing going on in here somewhere. There must be a pee somewhere in the, in the vicinity of my mattress. Yeah, only because you dragged it into a peanut factory, your majesty. Go home, you're drunk. Speaking of which, uh, the BBC's hoaxing department has come under fire following a recent harassment campaign by none other than Stephen Yaxley Lucifer von Voldemort, who cannot be pictured here for illegal reasons. The, the notorious racist dehumanizer and three-headed reptilian god emperor from hell was caught red-handed sending a threatening text message to an unassuming and inebriated undertaker's daughter. We think some kind of soft date rape may have also occurred somewhere along the line, and we're assuming he's the perpetrator. But rather than confessing to his crimes, he violently turned on his investigators, snapping at them viciously with his 12 rows of teeth and performing some kind of crude scumbag Irish cannibal dance. <coughs> We at Munted News caught up with the BBC's co-director of hoaxing, Mr. John Sweeney. Here's what he had to say. So, Mr. Sweeney, I just want to begin with uh, the... Mr. Sweeney, Mr. Sweeney, there's, what, there's no need to get this abrasive. This is highly unprofessional conduct. If this is literally just a shouting match, then we're not even fit for soap opera drama. let alone documentaries. So if, if I'm not a journalist, then neither are you. Yes. Yes, I do. Perfectly. I just said I understand why. You... I mean, fair enough, I lied. I didn't understand the bloody word. But again, the art is in the listening, John, and neither of us is listening. Now, do you listen to me? It finally happened, John. You fucked with the wrong Tommy this time. It was only a matter of time. It's only, it only, it only a matter of shit you can rake before you run out of shit. If you could. You would take all the Tommy Atkinsons who'd ever risked their lives for this country and you would shank each and every one of them between the shoulder blades if it meant getting a juicy story and another paycheck, Sweeney. Eat an elephant's dick. All right, character. <laughs> Baggy character. Alita, battle angel, pictured here, has, has come to Earth from planet Alphabet, promising 
to give us new greens in return for all of our vibranium. After an exchange of incredulous glances, we said, Will unobtainium do? No, she replied. What do I look like, a blue nigger? As a matter of fact, no. I think you look like a dead pharaoh. I think you're the, you're, I think you're, you're the very reason dead pharaohs had their brains ripped out of their nose and their eyes fucked out of their sockets in some kind of scumbag Irish necrophilia ritual. Well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, you're intolerant to my vibranium coveting ways, you diminutive bigotlets. Hashtag Oscars so earthling, cried the overpowered gynoid and her dead boyfriend as they fell 2,000 feet from an over-rendered brown castle in the sky that we never get to see. We want your shit. Give us all your shit and then we'll give you some shit. No, said Bernie Sanders, pictured here. We want all your shit. Give her that microphone, you turgid old ham rag. You don't get shit, you're old and white. Ra, said one of them. Grr, said someone else. I'm not supposed to be here, I'm on my brunch break, said someone stage left. And something happened on the ongoing kerfuffle that required like a third of the news coverage this month. I don't even, Ivan, oven. Oven. I don't even have an oven. I don't even have an oven. I do, though. I have an oven. You're an oven. Oh, God. All right. Our final story tonight. There is no pedophile collusion on YouTube. Absolutely none. It was Russians. It was Trump and it was Russians. It was Russians on Trump. On on Russians. <laughs> on rye bread. With shallots and molasses. Shut up. Go away. I'm not an expert on brainwashing. <laughs> I should have written an ending. I did. Fuck off.